So, Dr. William Irwin, I'm uh, the Vermont Department of Health Radiological Health Chief, and I have been with the Department of Health since December of 2005. Prior to that, I worked at Harvard University, uh, prior to that at MIT, also uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and uh, have a Doctor of Science in Environmental Engineering with a master's in radiological physics. I'm a certified health physicist, certified by the American Board of Health Physics. And I have uh, worked in nuclear power at an early age. My initial work in this field started with the uh, Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company, working to uh, ensure safety during the construction, refueling of nuclear-powered submarines aircraft carriers and guided missile cruisers, and uh, worked briefly in the nuclear in industry before going into academia. So you consider yourself to be in now academia? Oh no, that was, uh, <laughs> now I'm no longer, that's for certain. Okay. Um, well, that's an interesting thing. Mr. Irwin, as, as you said and as our chairman has asked, uh, you have, I, I'm the longest sitting member on this on this committee. I've been here. Eight, this is my eighth year, and uh, I've been dealing with Vermont Yankee going all the way back when we were talking about dry cast storage, when the upgrade uh, last year's decommissioning and this year's decommissioning. But we have. Uh, I will tell you uh, this morning when I got up and started reading newspapers, I, I was shocked. I was concerned, not because of uh, necessarily with all I read, but what I observed is. We had the NRC saying one thing, we had you saying another thing, and we had Yankee saying another thing. And obviously, myself and I'm sure the rest of the committee is looking for where's where is the accuracy lie? I don't want to say truth. Where is the accuracy lie? And uh, I guess what I want to hear is why why would you state uh, something contrary to what the NRC had to say about the tritium leak down here? Well, I don't want to try to characterize any of the motives behind any of their statements. I can simply characterize the motives behind our statements, which are that our mission is to protect public health. And clearly, uh, we have operated an environmental surveillance program around this station for 40 years. It started before the plant became operational. And this is the first finding of this magnitude and it is a very serious occurrence that is being tracked and it does have ramifications. Until we know the source of the leakage, until we know the uh, magnitude of the size of the plume and the concentration of the radioactivity and all of the constituents of that radioactivity and the hydrogeological aspects that will drive this into the environment and potentially into the public domain. Uh, we need to be extremely serious about the uh, risks that exist here. They're unknown. And we do know that tritium as a radioactive material is relatively low in its radiotoxicity. But clearly, this is just a marker of other things that are there and other things that could affect the public and the environment. Could you Until we know it all on that statement? This yes. is just a marker. Yes, tritium is a radioactive form of water. To really make it as simple as, the water circulates through the reactor. It absorbs a neutron from the fission process, becomes radioactive water. It behaves <laughs> just like water chemically, and therefore it's a really good marker that something has leaked, and hence the groundwater monitoring program on site. And it also is. Uh, medium that will pass through the soils, while other elements that are in sources that may be leaking may be filtered by the soils. So you can, to some degree, uh, over the course of exploration, primarily through drilling and excavation, find <coughs> the path, or what appears to be the path, back to a source, and, and maybe you may actually excavate the source. And at that source, we expect that there will be other radionuclides, and we don't know the concentrations of those. And some of those are going to be uh, greater concern than tritium, and <coughs> hence the marker part and our concern. Okay, so I just I think I've just heard you say that. So you expect to find 
um, does, does that, that does that mean that that uh, do you, do you, is, do you think that this is a system leak that this is an active operating uh, system leak? I don't know if it's an active operating system leak. It certainly could be. The most important thing that comes out of the uh, high concentration that was reported yesterday is that it's coming from a system that has itself high concentration or it has been building up for a very long time. So, um, uh, I don't mean to parse the words, but I'm trying to understand. What do you, what, can you explain what, we, what you mean by it's coming from a system if it's not coming from what I would consider the yeah. active system? Right. Well, the active system, of course, is that which runs through the reactor right. to generate the steam right. and to generate electricity. But there are numerous systems that support that reactor coolant process. Rad waste, radioactive waste processing systems, the storage of uh, water for makeup, the storage of water for emergencies, all of that water is equally of high concentration of tritium and other radionuclides. So there are um, probably in this physical location where this well reported yesterday exists, um, many dozen systems pipes that need to be evaluated uh, each to verify that they are or are not leaking and then recommend that to have repaired. So um, I'm, I, I personally am pleased to hear your level of concern about this because I've been reading and hearing too much uh, in, in the press by, uh, and seeing statements by folks that you know seem to slough this off as a not a big deal. Um, at what point, in, in your estimation, um, does this go beyond concern and uh, what takes us to that point and how do you measure that seriousness? I think it's relatively simple. We measure it through taking samples of drinking water. These wells that are reporting positively for radioactivity now, and it's all currently tritium, not other radionuclides, are shallow wells that are on site to try to catch this early. And we are sampling all of the drinking water wells on site there, as well as drinking water wells around the site and the Connecticut River, in order to verify that it's not into those sources. Should we detect it in those sources, we would likely uh, recommend that some remediation be taken. For example, that those sources no longer be used. What would that remediation be? It could be that the well would be proposed, that bottled water would be recommended. But the remediation wouldn't, you wouldn't call for the, 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 the stoppage of the, of the source of the problem? Well, actually, we would certainly recommend that if that was going to stop the leakage that was causing this, that that occur. Um, we have somewhat um, challenging situation with regard to the plant operation. Until they find the leak, a lot of the systems really need to be pressurized to find the leak. And in some cases, operating the reactor is the best way to do that. If you shut down the reactor, you may not be able to find the leak. And so uh, as much as we would like to say, let's turn it off and keep the uh, source, whatever it is, from leaking, we don't know that that would do it. It could be a source that is um, not active with the reactor operations. But we would not hesitate to agree to any um, recommendation that that be the uh, action to be taken. We do believe, however, that the investigation for the leak may be uh, improved with the operation of the plant until they find the source of the leak. And then, if it needs to be shut down to repair it, certainly that would be expected.